Welcome to this series of uh, videos. My name is uh, Yves Louis. I work for Cisco and I focus on the cloud networking. I built this series of videos to review the essentials of the Nexus dashboard fabric controller for the LAN fabrics. This series of videos is aiming to address the key functions of the Nexus dashboard fabric controller or NDFC 12. NDFC is the Cisco leading intent-based networking management solutions for standalone and XOS-based data center in order to operate classic LAN with bridging and routing functions, as well as modern VXLAN eVPN fabrics with all subcomponents, as you will see during this series of uh, videos. So this series of modules consists of six different main topics compose each with uh, several sections. The module one covers the Cisco intent-based networking solutions, the evolution and the requirements with a focus on the network-centric approach. In short, what is NDFC and why NDFC and when to use NDFC. I, I think this is crucial before we can talk about technology and functions. Module 2 describes the fabric automations for classic LAN, for VXLAN eVPN, for multi-site, as well as the automation for overlay networks and VRF deployment. Module 3 discusses about the extensions for traditional segmented layer 2 and layer 3 networks to the external side of the VXLAN eVPN fabric. Module 4 reviews the layer 4 and layer 7 service node insertions and automations. It highlights the policy based templates used by NDFC to automate the deployment of the end user intent. Module 5 highlights how, in addition to the NDFC GUI, the fabric can be fully automated with the NDFC RESTful APIs using your own API management applications. Module 6 demonstrates the operation tools embedded with NDFC, such as health monitoring, uh, performance monitoring, alarming, endpoint locators, backup and restore, and more. A minimum of uh, network background is recommended to follow this series of uh, videos. Routing and switching knowledge is for either traditional networks and uh, VXLAN eVPN transport will be helpful, as well as the data center network management processes. The first module one is planning to clarify how NDFC service fits into um, Cisco networking solutions to address the enterprise needs for their data centers. The first question is uh, how NDFC can help to address the enterprise requirements that grow quickly. Our focus is to help the enterprises to connect, secure and automate their infrastructure in the cloud first world in order to accelerate their business. Most enterprises agree that their business relies on the differentiators they can leverage against their competitors. Most of the time, differentiators are driven by the innovation of the technology, which is the essential source of the success. And uh, Cisco continuously innovates with new technologies to help enterprises taking advantage of these differentiators, executing faster with more security. Now, simplicity and speed are the key elements for the enterprise success. Simplicity mitigates the risk of human mistakes. While the faster you differentiate yourself, the faster you win. However, the latter is true only if you can provide and maintain a secured, robust, always available solution that supports the user applications. Now, the, the flip side resides on the risks that the IT infrastructure becomes more complex to get all the systems uh, to run smoothly. And more complex implies more specific and 
dedicated management tools. Consequently, the network teams with their management tools grow exponentially, making it difficult to maintain the business always up and running. And more importantly, the security controls may become challenging to be maintained always up and efficiently from uh, too many different angles. This being said, uh, Cisco addresses these four pillar objectives with either its enhanced SDN-based platform, SEI, or with its uh, network-centric based solution that relies on VXLAN EVPN uh, transport in conjunction with the Nexus dashboard fabric controller. Both solutions accelerate the deployment of applications with uh, full automation to program quickly and surely your network fabric. However, this is efficient only if the application is always on and secured for the end user. Now, full automation tools are required to simplify and accelerate overlay network deployment. In addition, it is crucial that we keep real-time visibility to any data packet flow, performance analysis, current health of any component, nodes, computes, links, uh, capacity plannings, and just to list a few of them. And finally, all types of operational tools should be consolidated into a single management platform. Now, SEI and NDFC. These are the two Cisco essential solutions to automate and operate the data center network components. SCI is the turnkey SDN flagship Cisco solution tightly coupled with policy-driven infrastructure that centralizes the automation and the operations of the wall overlay fabric in a single element. In short, the AP controller for SCI fabric operates at the fabric level, either using the GUI or REST APIs or CLI. It also offers a full integration with virtual machine managers, containers, private and public cloud secure connectivities, uh, health monitoring, and much more. On the other hand, Cisco offers the Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller service that focuses on standalone NXOS platforms. NDFC follows the network-centric approach to centralize the automation and operations on a pair-switch basis to form at the end, a solid and efficient network fabric, either for classic LAN or VXLAN EVPN or both. One of the key reasons for going with NDFC could be that some customers may have more experiences with the traditional NXOS that they expect to leverage, or they want to keep an eye on routing protocol states where they have been operating for many years. NDFC uses either its web GUI or centralized RESTful APIs to automate the configuration for each individual network devices in order to program the whole fabric end to end. And last but not least, NDFC offers integration and localizations of endpoints, virtual machines, or containers. So based on the different criteria, some enterprises wish to leverage the enhanced SDN approach to operate and automate their data center networks infrastructure using SEI. And uh, some of them may want to keep a network-centric approach with the uh, comprehensive NDFC applications to operate and automate NXOS-based fabric. Either solution offers simple, fast, and secure deployment for automatic provisioning and management of network components in few clicks, including the support for the necessary day-to-day -day operation tools. Finally, both solutions are tightly coupled with uh, the common Cisco Nexus dashboard platforms used for day two operations with uh, inside services, as well as to extend the network connectivity across multiple sites between on-prem data center networks and private or public cloud. We have simplified the whole set of uh, daily operation into a single dashboard through uh, which you can essentially host all the applications. And this includes the fabric controller, NDFC. NDFC comes with multiple cards if you need to manage the storage or your IPFM fabric, or which stands for IP fabric media, or 
you just want to discover your fabric for other services such as uh, Insight. Fabric Discovery is the lightweight version of the full NDFC line controller and when enabled, it supports monitoring, discovery and inventory only. Now let's focus on the Nexus dashboard fabric controller for LAN. First, NDFC is the big evolution of DCNM 11. We have rebranded DCNM 11 to Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller. So uh, NDFC is the new acronym that defined the service used to operate NXOS based fabric. It's not just about changing the name. There are several significant changes with NDFC 12 that I'm going to cover during the following modules. The first key evolution in regard to NDFC is that it has been completely rewritten to rely on a modern microservice-based architecture. NDFC now joins the ecosystem of services that runs natively on the top of uh, Nexus dashboard. The installation of NDFC, uh, like other services, is now simplified as you install the app of interest directly from the Cisco App Center. One of the key advantages for our customers with this evolution is that they have now this single experience. It doesn't really matter what application you run from the installation process to the common web GUI, all applications or services look with the same logic behind any request. We have a single pane of glass, which is uh, the Nexus dashboard platform through which the end user can consume different applications for the daily operations. This is our strategy. We want to simplify and align all apps into the same platforms to make the day-to-day -day operations easier. Various personas of NDFC, namely uh, LAN, SAN, IP Fabric for Media are implemented as a feature set that can be dynamically enabled at the runtime of the NDFC applications. And now with the concept of uh, Nexus dashboard cluster and uh, microservice architecture, we can easily address any scalability concerns by adding extra members to the cluster dynamically. For the management of the LAN, NDFC supports all Nexus series deployed in a standalone mode using an XOS software, as well as non-Nexus platform. For example, you can fully automate the deployment of a VXLAN VPN fabric using Catalyst 9K series running iOS XE if this is your intent. It also supports iOS XR based platforms, including third party devices. Finally, you can manage some non-Cisco platforms. It includes also visualization of endpoints, bar metal devices, virtual machines, container or open stack with health status, uh, statistics and localizations. Another instance of NDFC focuses on the storage networking, the SAN, and support the MDS series platforms, as well as the VMware and UCS integration for the storage transport. And as mentioned previously, NDFC also manages the IP fabric for media for the broadcast industry, which must support terabytes of multicast traffic. Another key difference is with DCNM 11 is that um, now you no longer need to have a dedicated installation for each type of fabrics uh, you wish to operate. Now with the Nexus dashboard, you install the fabric controller application once and you can run it for either your LAN or your SAN or your IP fabric media as you need. Starting now, we focus on NDFC for managing the LAN fabrics all over the next modules. The strengths of NDFC come with its four pillars covering the automations. Uh, you just need to rack the switches as they come from factory and connect the uplinks together to form the physical close fabric. And NDFC will discover and auto configure the switches based on Cisco best practices uh, just in few clicks, right? Either for the classic LAN or for VXLAN VPN or for multi-site, right? NDFC uh, 
is open for user customization so you can extend the deployment based on your personal requirements if needed using custom or freeform policy templates with health visibility well when the fabrics networks or computers are deployed uh, ndfc offers a real-time visibility on the network and server health performances on the cpu memory temperature lan utilizations link utilizations you can localize endpoints across multiple fabrics with the operating system details as well as the underlay physical paths used for communications between two endpoints um, using the overlay network transport also, NDFC constantly monitors the running configurations of all switches to ensure that each device is running the exact intended configurations. If one word of the configuration is not in sync with NDFC, the network team will be immediately notified and NDFC will offer to remediate it immediately, pushing back the initial configurations. Finally, programmability, another very crucial function. Today, you can't talk about network management without mentioning uh, RESTful APIs. NDFC uses RESTful API to render the GUI performing all operations. And if you wish to use your API management applications to program the fabric using a central uh, controller, then you can leverage the embedded NDFC REST APIs. And in addition, uh, NDFC supports uh, Ansible collection or Terraform providers as infrastructure as code to program the fabric. Now the question is why and when you will need NDFC. There are several use cases for an enterprise to adopt NDFC for managing its network fabrics. As mentioned a few slides ago, uh, some customers wish to leverage the enhanced network-centric approach to operate their networks. Indeed, some folks have a long experience with the traditional annex OS uh, bridging and routing. They, they, they wish to continue to operate as is. Um, and NDFC allows you to operate the management of any Nexus devices in a legacy environment, as well as a new generation of Nexus platforms in a VXLAN eVPN fabric. NDFC automates the deployment of a VXLAN eVPN easily based on Cisco best practices with the options to preview the configuration for subject matter experts who can follow the configurations. On the other hand, you may have limited experience with, uh, for example, VXLAN eVPN, but you need to migrate from a classic LAN to a VXLAN eVPN and you don't feel comfortable with the underlay, the overlay networks, uh, BGP or the VRF. So even if your experience with VXLAN eVPN is inexistent and you don't know about DCI, you can deploy a full VXLAN eVPN multi-site infrastructure in full clicks. Now, you may want to operate different data center networks, a mix of uh, classic LAN, VXLAN, WAN, with the same network management platform using a single pan of glass. And you can take advantage of NDFC simply to monitor the configurations that are changing on the per device basis across the world data center from an external access other than NDFC. This is available for classic LAN or VXLAN eVPN fabric. This guarantees you to always run the expected configuration. Otherwise, you get notified with a visual alarms and NDFC proposes uh, you to remediate uh, to the original configuration in one click. Now, some network managers may want to use NDFC for inventory and monitoring purposes. For example, they deployed manually or uh, with their API management tools the network fabrics, but they want to use NDFC for device health monitoring, network utilizations, hardware resource consumptions, uh, environmental survey, device av availability, device features, licensing, inventory, etc. So you can enable NDFC discovery only for day two op services such as uh, Nexus Dashboard Insight. Um, you want to fully operate your network fabrics on your own 
with your software network management platform. However, you, you want to take regular backup of the world data center, including uh, multi-site. And um, in that case, you can leverage NDFC to trigger automatic backups based on the configuration change. All backups are saved uh, in a timeline, so you can review afterward the configuration with the differences. And then you can select a golden backup if you want, or any other intermediate backup of interest, and restore it. NDFC centralizes a daily operation. So in addition to the health monitoring and network utilization, so backup and restore mentions previously, whatever the model of fabric deployed, classic or uh, a modern fabric, you can leverage NDFC for many operations such as uh, automatic image upgrade, uh, RMA events and uh, alarms. Uh, you can locate and visualize uh, endpoints, uh, understand the, 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 the life uh, of the endpoints uh, when they moved from one node to another node, uh, deploy the networks and tenant on demand, etc. So as you, as you can guess, the list of uh, use cases is not exhaustive and there are other reasons to leverage NDFC to operate your data center networks, uh, obviously. Now, why NDFC? Um, if we can make a summary of the previous slides, here are the top key reasons why you would choose NDFC. Support different type of topologies, uh, three-stage close, five-stage close, three tiers hierarchical, collapse call, routed uh, access, and so on. Right? You can use for one fabric three tiers uh, or collapse core, or choose to run uh, OSPF or ISIS or IBGP or EBGP, whatever. It's very flexible, right? And uh, finally, you can leverage NDFC to operate and manage your LAN or your SAN or your IPFM. It supports all the Nexus series, iOS XE, iOS XR, and even non-Cisco devices.